All right, YouTube, today I want to mathematically derive the parallel axis theorem. Now, previously I've gone through and explained where the parallel axis theorem comes from conceptually as well as how to apply it. But what I want to do here is simply stick to the strict math side of physics and, and work out exactly how this equation came to be. And to do this, we're going to take a long thin rod that has some length L and some mass M. And we're going to rotate it around some point or axis, which is D away from the center of the rod. And much like when deriving the rotational moment of inertia of a rod around any point, we're going to take this rod and we're going to break it up into slices. And the reason I want to take a look at just a slice of this rod is because I want to look at all the mass that's a particular radius or distance away from this axis of rotation. So we're going to say this slice is at some distance r away from the axis of rotation and has some thickness we'll call dr, or an infinitely small change in radius. And so in order to come up with the inertia of this rod rotating around this point which is falling outside of the rod, we're going to first take a look at the inertia of just this slice. And the reason we have to look at just a slice is because we can only look at the mass which is at a single radius. And we're going to treat all the mass in this slice as though it's a particle. Now we know the inertia of a particle is given by mr squared. And knowing this rod has some mass m and length l, we can come up with what's referred to as the mass per unit length of this long thin rod. Now realize, the particle in question is simply this slice of rod which has some length, dr. So the mass of this slice, which I'm going to refer to as dm, because it's not the total mass, it's a small chunk of the total mass, is going to be equal to the mass per unit length multiplied by dr. So here we have our mass of a slice, and we're going to substitute that into the inertia of our particle, or our slice in question. So we've got the mass of the slice multiplied by its radius, which we're calling small r. And that's squared, according to this equation. Now realize, this isn't the total inertia of the entire rod, it's an infinitely small chunk of the total inertia, so I'm going to refer to this as di. And to come up with the total inertia, we're simply going to integrate all of our little slices of mass from one side of the rod to the other side of the rod. Now realize, our limits of integration are simply going to reflect these dimensions. The inner edge of the rod is going to be at a radius of d minus l over 2. And the outer edge of the rod is at a radius d plus l over 2. So evaluating this integral, And if you're careful through the calculus in dealing with the binomial expansion and the many negatives that show up here, what we'll find is the inertia of this rod around this point over here is md squared plus 1 12th ml squared. And realize, 1 12th ml squared is the rotational moment of inertia of a rod around its center. And what this has left us at is ultimately the parallel axis theorem. So I hope in some sick and twisted way you found this fun, and on that note, that's all for now.